Hello. This is Sweet June. Been a while since I've been on here. Um, um, been going through a lot of changes uh, financially and uh, changing jobs and everything and drama on job on this last job I was on de dealing with some drama and so it's been a while since I've been on here um, uh, for a while I didn't have my internet and everything so it's been a minute but I'm back uh, this, you know I've had a lot going on in my life lately uh, still got a lot going on you know uh, but I'm back. Uh, was it cause kind of thinking of what I wanted to talk about? Uh, uh, but what's been really bothering me is uh, these young girls out here having babies. You know, some of them got like four or five kids by the time they're 25. You know, that is crazy. That's crazy. Because I don't understand uh, how um, I don't get it. I just, you know, it's, 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 you know, the economy is so bad. My thought is on that is my, the economy is so bad. And the system, you know, now it's not, it seems like it's set up now to where they don't want to hardly give you anything. They don't want to hardly help you. You know, they want to make all these cuts and everything. And I'm, I'm thinking, okay, these girls, these young girls having all these babies. I'm like, what they going to do? You know? I mean, it's like what happens when they look up, you know, they depend on the system. Well, well, food stamps and all that. But then what happens one day when they look up and the system is not there anymore? Then what they going to do? The jobs are scarce out here, you know. And then when you do get a job, you know, they want to talk about some $8 an hour. You can't support a family on $8 an hour. So, I mean, I'm just, you know, my heart bleeds for some of these young ladies out here. You know, they're out here having these babies. And my heart really bleeds for them because I'm like, what are this, what are they, what are they going to do when they look up and the system is not there to help them? And it's going to be really rough for some of them, you know. And it's like, you know, it's like they don't get it. It's like they just don't connect the dots, you know. They, you know, they have these, you know, kids and, you know, they have one. And, and, and you would think they would see how hard it is with one and lay low but then they go have two and then they go have three and I'm not judging them but it's just that I, I I've been a single mother for many years and I've had to struggle and I, I see how hard it is and my heart really goes out to them because the way the economy is set up now it, it's 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 slim pickings out here you know it's like they're making all these cuts and all this kind of stuff I mean um I'm not gonna talk get into talking about a lot of politics, but Obama's back in office now, you know, hopefully some positive changes will be made, but still I mean, you know, we're we're still in a recession, the economy is still really bad. And um not to mention we're at the end of the system, you know. You know, uh but that's another block. And I just I just don't see it just seems like all, you know these young ladies are out here having these babies. They don't have no husband, and you know, and it's like, you know, when you have, you know, in most cases two, three kids, four or five kids out of wedlock. You know, what man is gonna come in? It takes. It, it would take a really, really good man to come in and and be willing to raise another man's kid. You know, most men are not willing to do that. Half the time they don't even want to raise their own. You know, half the time they don't even want to take care of their own kids. So how they going how they going to take help you take care of yours? Half the time they don't even want to take care of theirs. 
So it's like, what they gonna do? It's like, you know, it's 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 really it's rough out here. It's really rough out here. I mean, I I just don't know how these young girls are making it. I don't know how they're surviving. You know, I mean, I just I just don't know how they're doing it. It's just I'm seeing them, you know, more and more getting pregnant, having babies, left and right, and, you know, and I don't know if they think it's cute, but it's not. It is not cute, ladies. You know, it's it's rough, you know, and it, it, I just, I don't get it. I've been a single mother for many years, and, I mean, I, I think about how I've had to struggle, and then I look at these young ladies out here. And how they're struggling, you know, and and they're and I'm see I'm I'm looking at look at you know I'm I'm thinking okay they're gonna have to struggle, you know my heart bleeds for them because I know that they're gonna go through a lot and this economy is is getting worse and worse can't hardly get no insurance and you know the system, you know um, now, you know people are having problems with getting child care expenses covered and all that kind of stuff and they're acting like they don't want to give you nothing down there now at uh, DHS or whatever the heck they call it here in Michigan now and it's it's really rough you know and it's just like these young girls they just don't seem to have a clue you know it just they just it's, it's so many birth control methods out here there's just no reason for young girls to keep having children like this because there's too many birth control methods out here there's too many things that they can take you know to prevent it you know and it's just I don't know I don't know it's like they're having three and four kids they have no husband and then when they get to be in their forties they, they're gonna be thinking they want to get married well who's gonna want to take on that responsibility half the time he, he, these men don't even want to take care of their own. How are they gonna help you take care of yours? It takes a. It really takes a one. It takes a really, really heck of a good guy to come in and raise another man's kids. It took me a long time to come to that myself. It took me a long time to realize that myself. You know, but it does. It it, it really, really, would, it really takes a uh, a strong man, you know, a good man, to come in and take on somebody else's kids, because not too many men's gonna do it. Half the time, you can't even get them to take care of their own. So how are they gonna come in and take care of yours? So I mean, it's just something that's been on my mind. Seeing all these young girls, you know, making the same mistakes that I made and a lot of other women made, you know, and I, I'm, it, my heart bleeds for them because I know they're going to have a hard life, especially in this economy, the way this economy is, it, it, you know, we're still in a recession as far as I'm concerned, and um, it just seems like this things are getting worse and worse. It's just everything is so expensive, you know, food is expensive and all this. Everything is just so high. I mean, I was in the store. They want almost five dollars for some steak sauce. I said, "What? I said, this is this is just a condiment. It's not even a. It's not even food. It's just a condiment. It's just some sauce that you put on your steak. It's not even. It's not even food. It's just a condiment. And they wanted almost five dollars for it. And it wasn't even a big bottle. It was a regular sized bottle. I said, "This is crazy." Almost five dollars for some steak sauce. I mean, I go to the store. It's depressing going to the store anymore. I mean, everything is so high. Everything is so expensive. So I'm like, how are these young ladies gonna make it out here? I'm like, how is they gonna make it out here? They got these babies, you know. System, you know, they acting like they don't want to hardly help you, you know. And then what if one day they look up and the system is not there anymore? Then what they gonna do? I mean, that's just what I keep thinking when I see these young ladies with these babies, you know. They rely on the system, but then when they look up, what if the system's not there? What you going to do? 
you know you know the government you know there's only one person you truly depend on and that's Jehovah God you know but the government can't put no trust in the government because the government is flighty you know they're already talking about tax cuts and all this stuff uh, you know like they're changing taxes I don't know how much money we're going to get back on our taxes this year you know they're already talking about that and then, you know they're talking about when you file you ain't going to be able to get your money back and they're going to be late doing them and all that what's that supposed to mean you know so I mean it, they already act like they want to cut back on that you know you know sometimes some of us you know that's the only time we really have any money is uh, tax time. You know, they act like they want to cut that down too. So as I said, I don't understand how these young ladies are going to make it out here. It's like, how are they going to survive? You know, it's just, I see how hard it's been for me over the years. And I'm still struggling. You know, as of today, I'm still struggling. Man, I just... I don't know what I would have done if I had three, four, and five kids. I, I don't know how I would have made it. I, I, I was glad that I wised up after my second one. You know, and I said, mm -mm. I said, no, I wised up. I was like, June, you in this on your own, girl. Lock it up. <laughs> Wise up. You know, that's what I did because I was like, uh -uh, I'm not going to keep putting myself in this situation. You know, I just it's just been on my mind a lot. Just seeing these young ladies out here having baby after baby after baby, and I'm like, what is going on here? Is this some kind of epidemic? You know, it's like they I don't know if they think it's cute or they think they supposed to be they think they're gonna get rich off of the welfare system. Well, don't nobody get rich off no welfare system. It's like now they're acting like they don't want to hardly give you anything. So I, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know if that's what they think they're gonna do, or I don't know. It baffles me, you know. And my heart bleeds for them because I know, I know that they're gonna struggle. I know that they're gonna have a hard time. And so I, I this, when I say uh, these young ladies is like, um, it's just too much out here. It's, it's too many birth control methods. And then the guys that they're getting pregnant by, they ain't worth a hoot. You know, the, you know they're not worth a hoot. And a lot of times these, these guys ain't got good jobs or whatever like that. And it's like, it's like they're not, they're not, they're not waking up to smelling the coffee. It's like they're not waking up to smelling the coffee. And they're not realizing that, you know, how tough it is out here. You know, so I mean... I don't know. I honestly don't know what to tell them, you know. All I can do is pray for them. Because they really don't realize, you know, what they're getting themselves into. I mean, they really don't know. But it's rough out here. You know, and, and, and it's like they're young and they don't realize that. And they get to be in their 30s and 40s, then it might hit them. You know, but like a lot of times, you know, what man's going to come in and, you know, help raise another man's kids. And a lot of times they got multiple fathers. I'm not on here. I'm not trying to judge them, you know, but it's just, I don't know how they're doing it. It's like, it's like I just want to shake them and say, girl, wake up, you know, please wake up. It's like my, my heart just bleeds for them because... I'm seeing how bad it is out here and it's getting worse and worse. This economy is getting worse and worse. And I, I'm seeing how bad it is and the gas prices. <laughs> it's high. The food and everything is so high and so expensive and I don't know how they're doing it. Well, it's just some, some so I just, you know, want to talk about that because it's kind of been on my mind lately. I just, you know, um, it's really epidemic in the black community, and it's really sad, you know. But things are really hard for us black people. So I just, I don't know what they're going to do, you know. I, I guess all I can do is pray for them. 
But you know that just let you know it guys know what's on my mind, you know. That's what's been on my mind, you know, amongst other things, you know. Right now I'm dealing with a lot of issues, but you know, but as far as uh, things happening in the world, things that's happening in the black community and in, in in my amongst my people, that's one of my main concerns. You know, these young ladies out here having all these babies and no means to take care of them. You know, there's just too many birth control methods out here. You know, and you know, I just I just think they just need to be taking the time to heed God's counsel, wait till marriage. You know, get your education and all that. And then if you want to get married, you know, then if you want to have a family, go ahead and start a family. But make sure you have the means to support that family and you got a, a good man that has your back you know I mean that's not always a guarantee but you know it's, it's a better it's a better guarantee than out here having two three four and five kids by different men it's a better guarantee than that you know so I just I'm not judging I'm just a very very concerned about these young ladies I'm just very concerned about them my heart bleeds for them. It, my heart really does. Because I know they're going to have a hard time out here. Trying to take care of them babies. And you know. It, it's going to be it's gonna be rough for them. Okay. That's just what's on my head. A uh, long time no see. Sweet June. 2010.